Do ideas speak to us through dreams? Inspiration quickly retreats from the noise and agenda of algorithms. Creatures of habit proceed down their paths. These involuntary acts put the tedium of mourning on autopilot. But in the role of passenger, do we avail ourselves to the opportunities gently whispered? The hint of an idea. But to do's and urgencies rudely interrupt inspirations of what could be. Warding off tiny injuries we suffered in the night, sometimes we forget that our mind is connected to our body. To stretch our frames is to reestablish that connection. Has inspiration returned? Momentarily breaking free from the gravity of tasks, we pay a visit to the brisk air, if only for a little while. And while our entire body, each vein and vessel otherwise occupied, our minds are free to wander. Which path will we take? Too often, it's one forged by another. But we move, and that alone is good. But was inspiration disappointed to have been stood up? Showers are requisite, but they bring healing too. Once more, the body is distracted. What ideas might present themselves through the steam? Are we listening? Or is this simply another box to check? Inspiration seeks stimulation as we move more quickly to the next destination, as we brew our own remedy. It's a ritual within a ritual to rouse our receptors. The smell alone reminds us why we agreed to begin this day anew. That first sip. Something awakens our very soul. Echoes of inspiration surface, but the noise fights back. Motivated by the caffeine that now courses. Ready. The day has promise. If we can manage for one moment to sit and enjoy the silence. And perhaps the promise speaks. The possibilities somehow make sense. This is the moment we leave the cocoon of the morning routine and chase after an idea. Where did it come from? The inspiration to make, this yearning to create. Did dreams speak this idea to life? Or were our daily rhythms simply fodder for this evening's dreams?